They are as all-American as it gets, Lindsay and Steve Justice, college athletes who met at Wake Forest. And I kind of noticed her. Um, but she didn't really notice me. Lindsay, a soccer player. Steve played college ball. So good, he went on to play with Peyton Manning and the Colts and even spent some time as a Panther. We're best friends. We're best buds. Married for five years, their life together revolves around their faith. Well, Lord, we know that you're near. And their family. Remember my beautiful girl? Hannah, the four-year-old doe-eyed daddy's girl. She's a cuddle bunny. Like and Hope, the two-year-old who looks just like her mom. The couple wanted more feet to add to a new photo, and after nine months of trying for a third, Hope's learned looking. Lindsay had PCOS, polycystic ovarian syndrome, which can make it difficult to get pregnant. <laughs> and every month seemed like ten years, and any woman, woman who goes through infertility knows that. Lindsay took fertility drugs, and the couple even considered adoption. It's just emotionally draining. It's hard. But just when they were thinking about other options, a surprise. For Steve's 30th birthday, Lindsay handed her husband a gift, her positive pregnancy test. From that point on, it was just kind of a, a wild ride. The doctor thought Lindsay could be carrying as many as six babies and asked the couple about what's called selective reduction, <laughs> terminating some of the pregnancies to help give the others a better chance at survival. He just said, this is dangerous. Your best medical option is to selectively reduce. You know, we, Steve and I didn't have to look at each other. Uh, that was just not going to be an option. The surprises kept coming. Lindsay's eight-week ultrasound showed there were, in fact, seven babies. It is a miracle. It's just a miracle. Most OBGYNs will tell you they don't see this kind of pregnancy ever in their career. Seven is extremely rare. The couple documented the pregnancy, knowing they had to get to 23 weeks for the babies to have a chance. They named them. Mercy is the purple one. First letter of each baby's name together one. spells Messiah. At 12 weeks, Lindsay miscarried one of the babies, but then some happy news. Yeah, we were kind of joking, like, yeah, they're all going to be girls, and she did like a quick scan. She's like, mm -hmm, um, and I was like, you're kidding no me. And she goes, way. yeah, they're all girls. Each Sunday, the family celebrated when Lindsay was still pregnant. But in week 21, I started to feel some contractions. And I wanted to not believe that. The couple rushed to the hospital, where Lindsay gave birth to the baby they named Mercy. It took just 10 minutes for Lindsay to give birth to the other five. She was holding three of them on her chest, and I was getting the next two. And I was like, I just, I just want to stop. I want them to stay in there. I want them to stop. The baby survived about two hours. And what I would give to nurse them, to hold them, to rock them to sleep, um, to dress them, you know, I mean, I want to be their mom. I want them to be here. Both say they don't think the full weight of the loss has hit them. We're broken, you know. We, we are in deep mourning. We held each one of our six girls not even a week ago. They have the blankets that each baby was wrapped in on their bed. They each pick a different one to sleep with every night. And there are other mementos cherished photographs. She took a picture of all their feet for us and um, we had to ruffle up their dresses to do that so I got to go over and it really hit me that that was the only time I would ever dress them you know because that's what I love I love dressing them my girls and that's what a mama does to her to her baby so I got to dress them once and for all. Lindsay and Steve wanted to tell their story because they want people to know that despite all they've been through, they are hopeful about the future. They want people to know there can be hope amidst great sorrow. They're inviting the public to a celebration of life in honor of the lost babies later this month. We've got all the details and much more about this family on our website. You can check it all out, WCNC.com.